As a business owner, all we want is a great business with great people that we can rely on. And if we need to go on holidays, we've got the team to back us up. And everyone comes to work happy and excited. And it's just this wonderful, you know, world at the workplace. However, things don't always look like that in the workplace. We hear so much cases of work politics, bad company culture. And why is that the case? Well, in this video, I want to share with you the six human needs that your company needs to meet in order to really satisfy your team and create a raving team. Hi guys, it's Lynn Padetti here, founder of Outsourcing Angel. We are here to help you build a profitable business with a virtual team. Now, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be notified about our video every single week. So have you heard of Tony Robbins? I'm sure you have, because if you're in business and you're in personal development, you would have heard of Tony Robbins. Now, if you know Tony Robbins, then you would know his key teachings around the six human needs. Now, in his teaching, he believes that every single person, you or I, we all have six needs. Now, these needs may vary in priority, depending on, on, on each of us. However, we all have the needs of these six things. And the more we have satisfaction in these areas, the more happier and fulfilled we are. Now, the good thing about this is that this also applies to your business. Unless you create a company culture that meets these six human needs, you're not going to be able to create a raving team. You're not going to be able to create a great company culture. So let's look at what these six human needs are. Now, the first human need is comfort and certainty. So as mentioned, this is not in a priority. I'm going to mention all the six human needs that if this these exist in your company, you know that you've got a great company and a great raving team. So comfort and certainty. How can you make your staff feel comfortable and certain? They know that, you know, they know their job, they know their role, and they just feel the level of certainty. Now, how you can create that is having processes and systems. So if there are certain expectations and systems of how to do things, they will feel more comfortable and certain in their role. If you also always manage to pay on time, you never miss their salary or there's always a, a cert certain ritual that happens in your company, that creates that comfort for them. And also if your company culture is all about teamwork, it's really about, you know, it's not individual roles. It's if I've got your back as, and you've got my back as long as we complete a project together on time and satisfy the client, then the, the, the staff will feel that the level of comfort knowing that you know they've got people they've, their back is supported by the team now the strange thing about human beings is we also want variety so in your workplace you don't want it to be so systematic in a sense that it's almost like Groundhog day every day is the same and every year is the same it's no fun no variety this is where the staff members will start to feel bored so how you can create variety is through having different projects, rotating your staff to, to work on different projects, maybe changing their roles, promoting them to, to a, a different role. In other things you could create is, you know, competitions and reward systems. So in our company, we always take advantage of key events like Australia Day, Valentine's Day, and we would run competitions like, you know, the best design work that shows love will, will win. Or we could do a, um, you know, sometimes we do a fitness challenge and, and we're trying to, you know, race with one another and to create that sort of variety, that fun in the workplace. So you can always create competitions or some sort of activities. Even in terms of activities, every year we have company trips and we're going to go to different places and we try to do different things. So always think about as much as you want that certainty, how can you jazz it up with some variety in your workplace? The next one is significance. So us human beings, we love to feel important. And so at work, you need to think about ways to make your staff feel important. So at our sourcing angel, one of my way is every single month I do a like a CEO, a CEO update. So I go on Facebook live because all of our team members work remotely. And in my Facebook live, obviously it's, it's live inter interactive. So all the staff, the VAs are there to engage with me, but I'm there to really shout out to all the amazing people. So I would shout out to the new people, welcoming them to say, Hey, welcome 
um, you know, X and X, Y, Z, then, then calling out their names, making them feel important. And then I also call out the high performers of the month. We also do competitions where the staff members actually get points so that they, the more points they accumulate, they actually get a leaderboard sort of um, a trophy and they can um, redeem that into monetary rewards. We also use a, like a, a love point system called KarmaBot on Slack. This is a software and that allows the, each team members to actually um, give points to one another, you know, so they're always recognizing great performance from their own peers, not just the managers to the staff, but also one another. So it's always great to, to see in our Slack channel with all these, you know, call out of, you know, wonderful work by this person because they did this and, and we all can see it and it really makes that person feel recognized and important. So I'm curious to know what kind of thing does your company or the company that you work for do to make you feel significant? Share in the comments below. Okay, so the fourth thing you can do to create a raving team is around love and connection. So all of us human beings, we love to feel love and feel connected. Now in the workplace, although they're not our family, we still want to feel love and connected. And how we do that is at Outsourcing Angel, my company, we actually embed love throughout our whole mission and our whole branding so that's how we treat one another we actually use love as the main point and so i really feel like that's why we've you know really satisfied this one human need and so in terms of connection not because we're a remote business and all, working all online but we also try to connect offline so we have team leaders in in each area who are responsible for a group of vas so every single month they catch up with one another and they go out for coffee and, and dinner and do fun activities to connect with one another. And of course, online, we have the Slack communication tool, which they create little different channels, one for, you know, random chats about life, with the other one maybe about fitness. And so they have little mini communities within our company to feel connection, to feel like they've got a sense of, you know, similar people with like-minded people that they can share with. And a lot of times we hear from our VAs that they feel like they can talk more to the, their colleagues than even their own friends. Because when you have friends that are in, you know, in the same work, um, you know, mindset and, and have kids like you, and you just get along even more than your old friends that you may have met at high school. Another way that I personally connect with my team to make them feel really connected to even me and the company is to also run an online um, catch up. So it's called the, you know, online VA catch up. So this is where we're hanging out and we're not talking about work. This is not a meeting. This is all of us, you know, sometimes it's 30 or 40 people that join. Obviously not every single one join, but you know, there's 30, 40 people that join and it's almost like after work drink. So we come on and we, we, we ask funny questions and we get to know each other. And so every single month, it's my way of connecting with them, making them feel part of the mission and that every single person is important, no matter how big the company is. Now, the fifth human needs is growth. We all want to feel like we're progressing, growing. And so obviously how we do that in, in, in most companies would be, you know, upskilling, um, training. And that's exactly what we do in our business. You know, we, we provide them upskilling opportunities. Uh, we even get VAs to share their expertise to their colleagues. So if we have a VA that's really strong in, you know, social media, we would get her to train the staff so that she feels really important and feel like she's contributing. And at the same time, the VAs really learn from them and feel like they're growing. And, you know, if a VA doesn't have a you know, full-time job with a client, we would always try to find her another job with another client to make sure that she's always growing in other ways. And even if we, ha in, if we have work internally, we also provide to them so that we give them a chance to work on various projects, various tasks to really see um, you know, their potential. And so they really appreciate that we're always trying to grow them. And in our company, instead of always looking for new managers to, to, to hire, we're always looking at how we can can grow the, the current team up, so leveling them up. So let's say I have a VA that started off with me as a, as a rider, you know, she, she, after several months, she ends up being the, the manager of the riders. And then so she gets up, as she gets up, we hire more people to enter on an entry level. So that way the people who's been with us really feel like they're growing and really growing as the company's grown, they're growing. And finally, contribution. So as much as as many significance and love we get from elsewhere if we don't have that contribution satisfaction we're gonna feel not fulfilled in life when i say contribution i'm talking about 
if a if your company doesn't have a strong mission of how you actually solve um a you know a social problem or how you how your business actually impacts other people's lives in a good way your staff won't feel that connection or with the company because they don't feel like their job is contributing to anything good apart from you know making money for you or for themselves so the fortunate thing about our business model is that um we are actually helping to reduce poverty in the in countries like the Philippines. So, our the VAs who join us really love that we're on a mission to actually not just help them hire VAs, but we also uh, do a lot of volunteer projects to help young kids to become a VA, and we also feed the communities who are living in extreme poverty. So the VAs really feel like by doing a good job and keeping their clients I means the the company is more profitable to be able to do more of these social projects. Um, so that is what you really need to do with your, your company is to really align how your company is actually contributing to society. Now, if you, you don't have a model like myself, of course, you can always align with some, you know, partner companies, partner foundations and nonprofit organization. Uh, of course, you can also talk to us if you want to partner with us to help us on our mission. But if there is that correlation between your staff's work, um, that goes the, their performance goes towards the company the company as well which they can do you know some sort of contribution to society that is really how uh, the staff members will actually feel like they're part of a bigger mission so those are the six human needs now tony robbins really emphasizes six human needs more on a personal level you know he's talking about if we're in a relationship um, you know, how a relationship will work is if the relationship is fulfilling these six human needs. Um, you know, if you don't, if you have love and connection, but then you don't feel significant in your relationship or you don't feel that you're contributing to it, then there's always that sense of, of, uh, you know, unfulfillment. Now, like I said, the six human needs really is applicable to everything, part, everything in your life. So in your company, in your business, if you could look into these six human needs again and just, note down of what are you currently already doing that is satisfying these categories or these six areas if there are missing gaps this is where you can ask for ideas even with your team and say hey i want to improve the company culture and these are the areas i think we're missing what are your ideas that we can do to make you feel more loved more connected more con more um that you're part of a like you're contributing or that you are you know having some of a variety so yeah let me know what you think about all those six human needs and if you have any questions for me feel free to ask and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be notified about our next video